Hello guys, welcome to the YouTube channel for many years. So in today's video, we are doing the tips, tricks, hidden features and settings for the video of the OnePlus Nord C3 Lite 5G. This is the 8GB, 128GB variant of the OnePlus Nord C3 Lite 5G in the pastel lime color. Okay, so let's start from the most interesting tip. By default, this phone comes with the Google error. That means while you try to record any calls, both parties can hear this call is now being recorded. But no worry, just go to your Play Store and download or dialer from the color color os so just download this application so i will show you the application once again this is the or dialer application you should download this from the play store and just open this app and it will be asking for to set this app as your default so just okay and uh, change your current uh, google dialer to the or dialer and just set this as default and allow the permissions and then you are good to go now it how the by default itself the call recording feature you can see call recording and you can see record specified numbers or you can add those numbers which you want to record and then along with that record all calls auto call recording it would be enabled for all calls without any announcement for your oneplus Note c3 light 5g next is another interesting tip so currently the phone is off i'm just drawing an o over here oh and you can see instantly the camera opens and now let me draw a v over here v now you can see instantly the flash is turned on so let me off my phone and if i draw an m over here m and you can see instantly you can see it goes to my files and if i draw a w and you can see it instantly went to the youtube how to set this up so first of all let's go to settings and scroll down to find this option add these settings and over here you need to go to the gestures and motions and over there you can see screen of gestures this is the one which i am playing around so these are the features draw o to open camera turn it on draw v to turn on the torch just turn it on and we have double tap to turn on or off the screen just make sure you turn it on and then apart from that you can same way you can control music while playing by drawing the next arrow left arrow previous music next music and all and then apart from that you can customize three of your favorite actions so draw this up arrow open an app you can set it to any of the app which you like if you're a gamer you can set these three of them and if i uh, select draw m and i am currently assigned to my files you can set it to any others so if you need maps and let me just close and if i Draw M. You can see it instantly went to the map apps application. So that is really convenient, and you can also assign W and you should turn on to activate this feature. So first of all, you open an app and select your app and just turn it on. So that is really easy. And apart from that, we have few more options like taking a screenshot. Just a three finger down would be taking a screenshot. That's got it. And if you want to partial screenshot, that means only you need this much portion that means this portion might contain some confidential data and you don't need to share so then no worry just press and hold with your three fingers over here like this and you can see instantly a draggable area appears and drag the area which you need see just click tick or if you write want to write something just write over here right and it's done and just click done so instantly you can write it up on like an s pen on this galaxy and also it's really convenient Next is another feature which works like magic. I'm gonna unlock my phone without pressing any buttons. I'm just, you can see, I'm just lifting up my phone and that's it. It instantly went to the home screen. How to set this up? Just go to settings and then just scroll down to go to uh, Adi settings and just turn on uh, the race gestures and motions and then just turn on race to wake. So this is the first option you need to make sure and then go to the passwords and security and turn on the face and uh, enable your face unlock and set up your face unlock and all then enter home screen after unlocking you should turn in this on what happens is whenever you lift up your phone instantly the raised wake on and it instantly went to your lock screen and whenever you're on the lock screen it recognizes for your face and when the face recognize enter home screen after unlocking is turned on so it instantly went to your home screen that what that is what happens when you just place your phone and just picks it up instantly when so home screen. so that is really nice Next is regarding you can see I'm currently using this button navigation which is outdated. So just I'm gonna switch to the gesture navigation. So first of all, just scroll down to find the system option. So add it settings and then tap on the system navigation, just tap over here, and then you should change from buttons to gestures and to just cancel for the moment right now. And you can see just for the back, either swipe on the right edge or the left edge for the back, and for the home, just swipe up 
can instantly go to the home and for the reasons just swipe up and stop at the middle that is really really convenient and uh, i'm going to show you how to switch between the apps that is the best part that is like scrolling through the photos in gallery so you can see so messages uh chrome gallery phone so this is it switching between the apps so this is really convenient you should enable this just a navigation if you're really comfortable with that so again going to the settings and system navigation and apart from that you can see uh if you need to go back to the previous bar then there is also an option switch to the previous app that means currently i am using settings so if i need to switch between these app the phone settings settings phone then all you need to do is just press and hold like this see goes back to dialer if I press and hold again goes back settings press and go settings dialer settings dialer you can see you can switch between the apps without doing this stuff or without just scrolling so that is also available over here and next is you can see uh, if you are really not comfortable with this and if you need some guide bar then just turn this off hide gesture guide bar i'm just gonna turn off you can see now you can see a small guide bar appears and if i just turn down it disappears so that is based on your uh, usage and the comfortness of your phone okay and next thing is regarding again we are going back to gestures and motions and next thing is regarding the air gestures that means for answering and ending the calls with just the palm swipe and all so make sure you turn check it out and if it works for you just would be super awesome and apart from that there are three major options that means lift to ear to answer calls that means whenever your phone is ringing just lift up your phone to your instantly answers your call that is lift to ear to answer calls then auto switch to that means suppose if you're in speaker and somebody uh which is not com very comfortable to you enters the room and uh, you need to instantly switch to the earpiece then you don't need to press earpiece and then do just picks up your phone directly to the instantly to switch to the earpiece that is auto switch to the receiver then flip to mute incoming call so while you're receiving, receiving an incoming call just flip up your phone like this and instantly it would mute the phone so that is these three functions make sure you check it out okay so that is the gestures and motions then next is regarding the assistive touch that means assistive wall assistive touch is the name that we used seen in the iphones and all so just turn on so you can see a ball that this this is the assistive ball so you can assign it two set of functions either just as functions that means you can just tap for one function double tap for another function and all double tap see it acts like that or you can just assign in another way that it means tap menu so once you tap you can have five of options over there but actually i think this is not really good because actually it has only limited options we can't customize much so you can see you can very limited options just have go back home screen reasons notifications lock screen on hand and more and all so i it is based on your performance if you really like this just turn it on but instead i will show you another very in interesting one that is in the special features just turn this on smart sidebar just turn in this one on and you can see instantly you can see a sidebar over here just swipe like this and you can see just tap edit Away. and you can see you can add all your apps along with shortcut this would be super awesome and you can access this from any of the pages so you can see all the items is added so suppose you are in chrome doing some stuff and all like this no thanks okay so you are in chrome doing some stuff and meanwhile you need to go to another application just do a swipe like this on the area and you can see instantly goes to any application so if you need my files just tap over here instantly it opens in a window that not distracting the current window currently i'm using from chrome it is not distracting my chrome along with that i can you see i can drag it anywhere on the screen and i can even resize okay so that is your personal friend so you can customize it in your own ways with your applications you need that was the smart sidebar which is one of my favorite feature okay so again going back to the location which we are talking about that was the assistive touch so next is the one-handed mode so i'm gonna just turn on one-handed mode and it is really simple just do a swipe down like this instantly see it's really simple so that is the one-handed mode which is available over here and then let's go back to the same location that is the special features itself it's just even the split screen that means if you already know how to take a screenshot just three finger swipe would be the screenshot but how to split uh, two apps that means just show you so currently if you're using chrome just three fingers swipe up we can select the second application suppose if i'm selecting this play store you can see same time i can you access the play store and same time you can access the chrome and you can switch between these two of them and the top bottom and all that is your preference that is also available that 
is the split screen option apart from that we have the flexible windows we have the button free mode quick hide window in game and share layer floating window options is also available and then we have the kit space option which controls some digital well-being and pender controls along with some eyesight protection and uh, selection for the apps for the kids and all so that is also available that means your kit does not use us any unwanted apps okay so you can restrict them next is regarding the symbol mode that means whenever uh, some old age people are using this phone and they would not be having the precise touch that means exact touch to the to this location so for larger text bigger icons and louder sound this would be really helpful so it would be how precise touches the app icon should be really big and all and then apart from that we have the sense space more which is a flexible app that helps you stay focused on whatever things you are doing and it says a matter of uh, that means uh, app uh management and all so that is it regarding the special features now let's go back to the main location that is the privacy and security and here we are getting app log app hide and all so just tap the privacy password and you need to set a pattern for the moment so i am just uh, doing a new pattern and that's it some random questions i am just for the moment i'm answering and you can see app log app hide and private safe so first of all just turn on the app log so you need to turn on this feature and this icon over there to turn on and just tap the crop and app is locked use fingerprint or a face to unlock so currently for the moment i'm just clicking cancel and now when i open the crop you can see it asks for my pattern and uh, it's done okay so that is really convenient but the next time very next time if i open see it is opening without any pattern so how to set each and every time when you open this chrome each and every time it should be locked so how to set that up so just tap this settings icon over there and lock app when is currently on locking the screen switch to exiting the app and currently you can see so for the next time if i open so you can see it's asked for this pattern see it's done and the next time see again asking for but you can see it is not asking your fingerprint or your face direction so just tap once again on the app lock and just tap over here and you can see other unlock methods just tap over here and enable the fingerprint as well as face now what happens is whenever you open the chrome you can also unlock with your fingerprint or your face so that is the app lock now let's switch to the hide app so this can this is being accessed with the help of what we call a dialer so currently let me open uh, let me hide this uh, what do you call uh, files by google so settings and this is like dial a hash before and after the pass password that means if your password is 1111 then the pattern should be hash 1111 hash done now the files by google would be removed over here and you can access that with the help of let me i have already switched the o dialer so let me open the o dialer so hash 1111 hash so you can see hidden apps would be listed over here so that is really convenient and if you need to uh, just turn off again go to the hide apps and just disable the files by google and same thing with the app lock if you don't need just disable this you are good to go and now next is regarding the private safe which exactly hides your what we call this is also asking your fingerprint or face recognition to be used and just clicking use it can be used to hide your videos images audio documents and other files just tap over here and just tap plus it will be showing all your gallery photos over here and just set as private now if you open up your gallery you can see the gallery does not contain any of this uh photos and now you need to again go back to settings settings then you need to go to the password security and then the privacy protection password and you need to type your pattern and then go into the private safe and images and videos you can see three of them and just again hold over here like this one two three and then set as public again you can go back to whichever location you need and currently you should be the same and move to here and you are now good to go you can just tap the gallery back and you can see all this would be reappear over here so that is it regarding the private safe now the next thing would be the app clone that means two apps so just tap this app icon over here apps and then you can see app clone just tap over here all the supported apps would be listed over here you can turn on and off uh, like an icon so you can just turn on to use whatsapp one whatsapp two facebook one facebook two telegram one telegram two and all that would be listed over here and you can use make use of every applications within this so next is regarding the high performance mode that means if while you are playing games you should go to the battery settings and then just tap the more settings and just turn this mode on high performance mode while you are not playing games you should disable this mode because by using this 
mod it would be uh, getting your phone more warm than it is working on the normal mode so make sure you only use this when you are you need high power consumption okay then apart from that we have in the battery health option which is available over here and then apart from that in more settings we have some optimized battery usage and sleep standby optimization so next is to have the notifications that suppose if uh, some but he sent a silence to your whatsapp message and after receiving on your phone they deleted that message for everyone that means once the message should be received on your notification panel then they should have deleted the message for everyone but you don't need to worry all the notifications not only whatsapp messages all the notifications should arrive on the phone would be completely you can see over here even if you cleared all the third party deleted for them and let's uh, tap this notification status bar and just go to the more settings and over here you can see a notification history app this just turn on the notification history all the notification with the exact current timestamp would be displayed over here so you don't worry about any missed notifications so that is really convenient over there and then apart from that you can see currently you can see the battery percentage is outside the battery icon and all so if you need just one just tap on the this icon battery style see horizontal and uh, uh, battery percentage inside the battery icon now you can see see within this uh, battery icon you can uh, display the battery percentage along with this battery icon will be displayed and next thing is if you want to know the upload speed as well as the download speed just turn on the real time network speed option over here so that by that way you can uh, see how much upload how much speed the uploading is occurring how much speed the downloading is occurring so that is that option is also available over there and then apart from that let's go back to the display settings so here is a display so we have the light mode as well as a dark mode and we can schedule this from time to time that means you can just tap scheduled and you can set from sunset to sunrise or some custom timing based on your need when to turn on light light mode when to turn on dark mode and all and then apart from that we have a screen color mode we have two options one is vivid and one is a natural display i would keep it on the vivid as default would be really nice and we have some screen color temperature can be adjusted based on cooler warmer or by default settings and then apart from that we have eye comfort mode especially this should be used for the persons who use your phone in the night time in your room without any extra light so that may harm to your eyes and uh, this mode even comforts you better so that was the eye comfort mode and then we have this font options over here you can see adjust the font size font style and all and then apart from that we have the display size which can be also adjusted and the next is the screen refresh rate which is standard is 60 hertz and most 120 is the high refresh rate that means smooth scrolling okay so these options are available over there and then apart from that we have the home screen and lock screen options we are starting off from the swipe to pipe down on home screen Finally, if I swipe down on home screen, you can see some OnePlus shelf appears, which is really annoying, but you can just reassign to the notification panel, which is really convenient. So just tap over here, uh, swipe down on home screen, just tap, switch to the notification right. Now what happens is just swipe down instantly, you can access a notification. So that is really convenient over there. And then apart from that, we have a few options like recent task manager. So if you look at the recent task manager, it does not show how much RAM is being used and all. So just tap over here, recent task manager, display RAM information. Now what happens is you can see 2.95 GB available out of 8 plus 4 GB. So what happens, how if this is at 8 plus 4 GB, you can also set up to the maximum 8 plus 8 GB. So first of all, just go to the about device and just tap over here and you can see expand the ram by hb when you are while you are switching to 8 gb it will be using that 8 gb from your internet storage so those who are extremely heavy users then you can make use of this extra ram expansion this i would be saying this is a half big feature but still it is happy to have that feature okay so that is it let's go back to the same location which we are discussing about that was the home screen lock screen and then apart from that we have this home screen mode which can be have the drawer mode drawer mode means with the app launcher standard mode means just a classic view there's no that's not having the app launcher at all and then i can pull down gesture so if i just turned on what happens is so if i am having so currently i'm not having much of icons let me show you how this guy works so i am just reassigning some apps to the end and all you need to do is just do like this a, a swipe up like this and you can see this is the icon pull down just that means you can see all the icons on the top would be now over here so that is really convenient so just do a random swipe like this instantly all you can access this application so that is icon pull down gesture just again go back to the home screen setting so that was 
it over there and then apart from that we have the double tap to lock over option which is also over here just make sure to turn it on and then if you need you are customized this your home screen in a really good way and you don't need anyone to interfere or change the layout and all then you need to go to the home screen settings and then you can see lock home screen layout now no one can see home screen layout is locked unless you just unlock it won't be changing your applications over and over so next is regarding uh, like a third party launcher so just press and hold over here and you can see uh, some icons so let me uh, just turn off that feature that means uh, the lock home screen layout and now let me show you so you can see some icons here you can see some icon styles and all so you can see icon styles you can change the icon styles and all and you can uh, see icon sizes app name it sizes and all and then we have the widgets which can be really good so if you need clock just press and hold your clock like this to any of the location so it will be displayed like this apart from that we have some really cool widgets and all over there like the youtube music and then the oneplus widgets and then the google search bar widgets which should be added that means whenever you need to search just tap instantly over here you can search by the way and then uh, next is regarding the layout how much application should be fitted on one page you can see three into five three into six okay so you can set it on your person likes and next is trans transitions that means you can see it is completely like a third party nova launcher and all you can see customize how to switch between this pages and transitions should happen so that is also available over there so next is regarding some another, another another range of customization which we've seen on this location itself that means the icons and all so that would be over here in the settings just tap the settings just tap the wallpaper and style so here is the font sizes which we can change icon style which we already discussed and then we have the colors we can change see you can change to your own ways and see you can customize so let me customize to the red and currently you can see you can customize in your own way and for this color and you can customize and then you can change the this is current in the circle you can change to any other colors like i mean shapes like square circle i mean uh, others and all okay so that is also available next is regarding the camera ui so let's start from the first option that is the night mode is available with the timer option and then we have the ratio option option available and apart from that we have some filters option also and in video we are not getting any stabilization option we can record one zero eight zero p option is also available then we have some uh, retouch and filters option which is available and it will be changing to 720p while you tap the retouch or filters and then next is the photo view here we are getting the aa and along with that we are having the aspect ratio options we have the 3x along the 1x mode and for the maximum we can zoom up to 6x in the photo and then we have the portrait mode here it is also having filters and retouch options okay so and then along with we can adjust the aperture also and then we have the more settings this also available and we have the pro mode which can change the aperture iso white balance and all and also along with that we have a histogram option which is also available over there and uh, along with that this is a dedicated 108 mb camera so you can make use of the maximum extra hd option to make use of 108 mb mode and then along with that we have panoramic mode macro mode which takes the close-up of small subjects as well and then we have the slow motion time lapse dual view video, which make use of front camera as well as the back camera uh, at the same time then we have the text scanner option which is also available so these are the main tips tricks hidden features and settings of the video of the oneplus Note c 3 light 5g so guys that's it for today signing off it's for mania